Starting out as one of Ghana's child stars, Aaron Adati holds close to a decade screen experience with his love lawn lover boy character Cyril, gaining him widespread recognition. You're yeah, not my friend. What? Emily, listen, you have to hear what I have to say. No, 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 Cyril, you had your chance. Please. Come on, Emily, please. Emily, I love you. Aaron holds a degree in directing from NAFTI and is also a part time model. Hello, everybody. My name is Aaron Adachi. I'm an actor and a TV personality. I'm very versatile. Today is my turn on 50 questions. Let's see how it goes. Dogs, they say, are man's best friend. So why not get your dog needs from All Dogs Best Friend? Kinsey's Pet Shop is the home for all kinds of products which fortifies your dogs and leaves them bigger, stronger and smarter. Our top quality products are kept under convenient conditions and care. Our prices don't bite. 100% customer satisfaction guaranteed. Call us on 020-6565050, 054-4203009 or 027-1722550. Locate us at South Odoko Buzia Road, opposite Crystal Beam Hostels. Kinsey's Pet Shop, where dog lovers shop. Are you looking for... A holistic university that gives you an edge? A school that brings art to life. Or even one that makes you an exciting experience. It be a school that can take care of your child. A school that teaches you to capture beauty. One that can help you like around. Or a great music school. Choose EduConnect, your quick and easy way to discover, connect, and apply to your dream school. Visit our website now on www.educonnectcenter.com. EduConnect, connecting you to possibilities. This is 50 Questions on the Pave Network, a show where your favourite personalities answer the curious and risky questions sent by you. Let's head over to the Pave Studios for the guest of the day. So the first question says, do you believe that success is linked to who you know? Uh, to a point, yes, because even biblically it states that God helps those who help themselves. The help is not going to come if you don't make an effort. So it's linked to who you know at a point, not 100%. So if you're able to start something, if you're able to put yourself to the test, you're going to get the person who may be your help by your resource personnel to support you along the line. So definitely success is linked to who you know, but not 100%. You make the efforts, the person comes along the line, you continue. Uh, my next question, what inspires you in life? This question is very relative, you know, because Everybody has his own definition of success. I mean, everybody knows that success is you being, you gaining some leverage, quote and unquote. Everybody says you being wealthy means you're successful. But as I said, it's relative. So what inspires me in life is I'm content. The fact that I'm content, I don't want to get what somebody else has. I'm okay with what I have. If I want to get better, I'll push myself to get better, not because my friend or somebody I quote and unquote look up to has something so I need to push myself to get it. I'll do it the right way. I'll work hard and try my best to get it. So it's my daily mojo. I want to make it. I want to be successful. I want to get something at the end of the day. That is what inspires me. The fact that I say that I'm going to do this today and come with me, I do it. That's an inspiration. I've been inspired to do something. If you don't understand my answer, come and DM me. I'll explain to you. My third question is, what's your biggest fear in life? Biggest fear in life? What do you fear in life? Nobody... When you catch yourself, you're going to bleed. That doesn't mean you're afraid. What's your biggest fear in life? Failure? Everybody fails at a point because if you don't fail, you're not going to be successful. The road to success is not easy, you need to fail. So, my biggest fear in life is not being successful, yeah. I, I push myself all the time to make sure that I get what I want. So there's nothing to be afraid of. My fourth question is, um, what do I want to attain in the next five years? I want to have good health. I want to have basically good health because when I'm, when I'm healthy, when I'm strong, I'm able to do a lot. 
So that's my prayer to have good health in the next five years. Whatever project, whatever blessing that's going to come my way with it, only God knows from now. So I just need good health for the next five years and inshallah we will make up. The next question is, oh, what motivated me to join you? Is auditioning motivation? If it is, then I think that's it. Because I had to participate in an audition to be able to land the role I landed in Yolo. That's That should be my hey, motivation to join Yolo. What visions do you have for the Yolo series? I don't think anybody puts himself in a place where he doesn't value or he doesn't want to help that project. He doesn't want to see that project go far. So my vision for Yolo is for Yolo to be heard, Yolo to be seen all around the world and for people to actually take the message they're trying to put across. That's the main thing. We have, we have, we have made it entertaining, we have made it fun, full of drama, but there's a message you're trying to put across. The youth are dominant in the world, we have the loudest voice. So if we're able to get the youth to understand the message we're putting across, for them to abstain or use the right methods, then I think our vision is in progress. How did you, be, how did you come out great in the film industry? Were there challenges as well? The road to success is not easy. I'm not successful, but I'm passing through the challenges. So I know what it is. It's never been an easy journey. There have been lots of challenges. There are points where you want to give up. You see, to feel like wanting to give up is natural. People think when you have that feeling, that's the end of the world, but no. All the successful people have tried to give up at the point. So challenges have come along the line, several of them, from high school, from tertiary education, uh, trying to combine both the acting and then school. It's not been easy. And of course, you know, not everybody understands you for who you are. Somebody just wants to step on your toes. So we've come across a whole lot of people, a whole lot of things to get to where we are. And we're still climbing. So if the world feels I'm, I'm great, then I'm, I'm grateful to them as well. Because I think I'm only just beginning. I haven't reached anywhere. I haven't done anything yet. So help me go. Is acting by choice or chance? It's by both because if the choice is there, the chance comes along the line. If the chance comes, the choice comes along the line. A chance came my way and then I had to make the choice. If it was the choice that I made, obviously I would work hard for a chance to open itself up to me. So it was the chance that came and I had to make a choice to continue. I hope see the English at least would be very simple. Do you sometimes regret being famous? Oh, plenty of times. The film, yeah, uh, Charlie. It didn't worry you. You can't, you can't do a whole lot of things, you know. Right now, people are looking, people are looking up to you. People are looking at you. People are emulating you. So you are restricted to a whole lot of things. But all the same, it's just, it's just the pressure, the pressure that comes with it. You know, it looks like people are over expecting. So if you don't meet the expectation, then there's a problem, but fam, the race is not for the swift. Everybody has their pace to run. I'm not living or I'm not doing anything to please anybody or I'm not trying to seek validation from anybody. I'm just doing my thing. So I only regret being famous when I'm being limited to some stuff. But it's still good though. Apart from acting, what do you do and when did you start acting? I started acting in 2009, but aside acting, I'm an artist. What course did you do in secondary school and which secondary school did you go to? Art is my life. So I did visual arts in a fan school school. Yes, sir. If you could send a message to the whole world and they would listen, what message would you give? Be yourself. <laughs> Be yourself is very broad because Somebody tell you I'm being myself, but they are living the opposite. It's actually very difficult to be yourself because we are in the era where we are so moved by this, what we see here, what we hear here. So it gets us to try and do lots of things that don't suit our personality. So you being yourself means you're going at your pace, you're doing it to your satisfaction. Run your race. You don't owe anybody any explanation. Be yourself. Um, do you care for people? I think they should they should come and answer. I can direct you to some of the people who I roll with. <laughs> if they think I care for them, they'll give the answer. But I mean, it depends on your definition of caring. If caring is being around for people, being there for people, helping them in tough times, then I do try. 
Do you love being famous? Yes or no? Has its advantages and disadvantages. So sometimes we love it, sometimes we don't. How did you get into the acting industry? Even at that tender age, I still had an audition. So without auditions, I, there's no way in the world you're going to. Sorry, you're going to become a movie star without having an audition. It doesn't work that way. Yes, you may have the talent, but how are you going to? How is your talent going to be discovered through an audition? Nobody just picks up random people and then just puts them in films. It's not done that way. Even if somebody sees your potential, they'll try you out. That's what's to justify your inclusion. So, if you don't participate in an audition, I don't think you're ever going to be who you're dreaming of. So, audition is the number one. Uh, how old are you? Silver. So you can go with the cracker, cracker. Uh, you know golden, you know diamond. So silver. So how many years be silver? What is your take on the fact that people think you're arrogant, and will you advise an upcoming actor to invest their craft or pay for roles? Oh, the arrogance they keep telling me. I don't have problem, crap. I like the fact that people. I, I like the fact that people have a perception about me. That that makes me feel good because when you get closer, you may still keep that perception or you may change it. That's up to you. But I'm human. Every human body, every human being, the same body. So if I they walk for town where I know they laugh, know they mean say I be arrogant. It's not done like that. Besides, Victoria Beckham has been smiling in photos for ten years. <laughs> you say she's arrogant. So. If it comes to the arrogance, to be honest, I don't have a problem with, with that. I, at the beginning, I was bothered, like, why are people saying that? But then I realized that, look, you don't need validation from anybody. Let them say what they want to say. Let them do what they want to do. If they get closer and they need some particular information from you, they get it from me. Being a mentor to the youth, what has been your greatest challenge and how have you been able to overcome them? I've, I've not really been a fan of crowd growing up, but I always end up with being being around crowds like almost all the time. Most often I like to be on my own alone, but I had to work with crowds and all that. And you know, it's I don't I don't I don't think I see it to be a challenge. I, I've I've embodied it now. Yeah, because you have to respond to everybody. No matter what you do, they will give you the good remarks. You have to respond to them. Those giving the negative remarks, you have to. You don't have a choice. So sometimes it becomes a challenge. Like you are not in the mood, but you still have to. That's something that comes with fame. No matter. Look, you can be famous and be hell broke, but if you see your fans in town, you have to make time for them. That's basically what it is. And the job always keeps us on our feet. It always takes us out. So you are meeting people all the time. Sometimes you can be sick to the core. You don't even want to move, but you have to make time and talk to them. It's challenging. It's really challenging, but. It also makes it fun, as the nature of the thing. What's your take on the so-called white superiority and black inferiority theory as a young black boy? It's sad what we're going through. It's sad. 400 years of slavery and it looks like nothing has been done about it, although the blacks are still fighting. It's sad because we are all humans. Every, every day we are using the eggs as an example. You see some eggs that are brown, you see some eggs that are white, but inside they're all the same. We're all humans, we all eat, we all breathe, we all sleep, we all do everything together. So why are they discriminating? It's terrible to have people do that. You look at kids, infants, you can mix a 100% white child with a 100% black child and it's all love. Racism is taught and it's still being taught. That's how come it's never ended. But it doesn't mean that the black should not stop fighting, they shouldn't stop talking. The longer we push harder, the louder we sound, the more fed up they get. They, are, they begin to advise themselves. So it's only sad that we're still experiencing white superiority, quote unquote. But one day, one day, black people will dominate. What's your favorite Bible verse? This is my bio. First John chapter 4, verse 4, and Philippians 4, 13. First John chapter 4, verse 4 says, He that lives in me, is greater than he that lives in the world. And Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I don't reply when we chat to you. I chat to I chat to Papa. I chat to all the people I can chat to. If I don't chat to you, that's me I don't chat to you. The people are plenty. 
Dogs, they say, are man's best friend. So why not get your dog needs from All Dogs Best Friend? Kinsey's Pet Shop is the home for all kinds of products which fortifies your dogs and leaves them bigger, stronger and smarter. Our top quality products are kept under convenient conditions and care. Our prices don't bite. 100% customer satisfaction guaranteed. Call us on 020-6565050, 054-4203009 or 027-1722550. Locate us at South Odoko Buzia Road, opposite Crystal Beam Hostels. Kinsey's Pet Shop, where dog lovers shop. Are you looking for... A holistic university that gives you an edge? A school that brings art to life. Or even one that makes cooking an exciting experience. It be a school that can take care of your child. A school that teaches you to capture beauty. One that can help you like piano around. Oh, to keep on feeling. Or a great music school. Choose EduConnect, your quick and easy way to discover, connect, and apply to your dream school. Visit our website now on www.educonnectcenter.com. EduConnect, connecting you to possibilities. What's up people, it's Aaron Adachi here. I just finished my hot seat session on 50 questions on the PAVE network. It's been tough, but my answers hopefully will sit well with you guys. So subscribe to their YouTube channel, PAVE Network, and Instagram and Twitter, PAVE Ghana. Go and see my responses to your questions. Cheers.